Um, and the muggins are ended down there. Sorry there's not been much filming today, but it's been a lot of head scratching. Here we are. That's my little uh, two days worth. I, I, was, I nearly put a course of pig in this. So, if it doesn't look right, don't just carry on. Day one on any job is always a dead day. Thursday morning. Thursday the 11th of April, the day after the Northern Regional of the Super Trial, which I went to yesterday. I was here yesterday, a couple of hours, went through what was happening on the job, rained off again, so I headed down to Warrington to watch that, which is really good, really enjoyed it. 11 competitors, a lot of bricks down, a lot of tidy brickwork as well, met a few people, had a good chat, it was a good day, glad I went. Looking forward to the final now. But anyway, we're back, we're back here. I didn't film yesterday. It was all a bit hectic. It's an extension we're doing for um, one of the lads who's done what for before. He's away now on holiday for the rest of the week. It's just me and his labourer. It's an L shape, but uh, it's it's complicated. So um, the aim today is trying to get a few trench blocks in. So we're all sorted today. We've got everything we need. I'm trying to get everything in my barra and get myself around there. I'll show you what's going on. Oh, it's been quiet, getting on for 11 o'clock now, but we're getting ourselves, day one on any job is always a dead day, so we've got our, we've, there's not enough trench for one course, but we're putting two in, so we're getting some delivered this afternoon, so what we're going to do is concentrate all the trench onto this length here, and then we can put some, we can carry on with the block work above, otherwise we'll be able to put the trench down and stop. down this end now, as you can see it's nice and dry. Need to get the pick and go across all these pegs and not the top of the pegs because of tight beds. Big beds wouldn't matter but we're tight. And it also even with those blocks in tight we've still got to cut the first course of block and the first course of brick. Because our gauge was 800 which is um, yeah the pick up to a 750 which is 50 mil that's too much to pick up or bed down 25 mil which is also too much to bed down. So we bed down what we can, and then we'll just have to cut the first course to suit. I've got the, um, got the um, XO, that'll just fly through everything, that, even the seven Newton block. So uh, what we're gonna do now is run out, run out the um, remainder of the trench block, as far as I can get them. And then um, I can get the profile on that corner and start running this side, not too far. I can only drag it out to probably halfway up to that post and have to leave it down then so we can still get ex access. We can't finish that because of that little extension on the ends coming down. So we need to get up to where we can. That needs to come down, new fussing dug, and then extend it round and incorporate it into the extension. Um, as I always say, but day one is just so gritty. And, uh, I know, I, I know I moan about it all the time, but this really doesn't do me like any good. <laughs> well, I need to hop up to get out the trench. It's, 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 it's hard. So, um, the aim is to try and get it up to DPC by tomorrow. So, um, this, this end's going to be hard because we're using the 90mm Celotex and 100mm cavity, which um, I hate doing, but it's not my job. And this side is overhand, so we're gonna to have to do like 
two course of block, put the insulation on, and do the course the two external block, and do it that way bit by bit. We can't do it any other way. We can't get around to build it. Can't take the fence down, the extension in the way, and um, the um, the frisbees, the ten, they stick out ten mil. So we're going to have to make. I think we're making the cavity, hundred and ten mil. So we've got a bit of play on the frisbees because they're, they're, they're really fat. If you, if you have a 100 mil cavity, then your brickwork is going to be sat tight against the um, block work's going to be sat tight against the frisbees. Where do you order the block from? Uh, total timber.
Oh my god. 20 past 3. That was horrible. Absolutely horrible. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll be lucky if I get in here tomorrow. That was hard. And it's not even over yet. Um, all the blocks on the inside have got to be cut. We're still about 20 mil high, so great two blocks to be cut tomorrow. And I'll set a profile up there ready for tomorrow. But then um, we're out the we're out the muck, and if it rains, we're out the the rain, out of the water. So that's always a relief. But God, that was hard. I sh I should not be stretching me like that, like that. Too much. I'm not taking on extensions now. Oh god. So that's been left out for a drain. Um, so the plan for tomorrow is start that end, run that out, back it up, and then start running this way. Obviously we've got our profiles up now so I can just start that end and run through. It's a four metre door going in but that doesn't affect us until after the slabs in so uh, the, um, it's going to be a, um, I think five on the outside blocking two commons on the inside so still a lot to do um, Dave's done well keeping up today and, and having to handball all 36 wet blocks off the van and then bring them round and then load them out again it's been tough for both of us but at least the weather's held nice weather it's almost shorts weather so um I'm going to tidy my stuff up, clean my boards, clean my tools, set that profile up and see what time we're at. And then, oh yeah, the mix has had a good stone wash, so that should be nice and spotless when I go around there. I just need to rinse it out and give it a wipe. So yeah, let's get tidied up. Morning. What are we now? Twelfth. Friday the twelfth. So got me three stands ready, and then raided me scrap metal pile last night and cut that lintel up. That had the big up stand on it, so I cut it. It's got an angle line for the front and just a flat bit for the back. That's for the block work. That's for the brickwork. Just gonna get the gear around and get started. Right. That's going to have a busy morning, because everything's got to be cut round here now. Um, so, just gone 8 o'clock, Dave's getting a mix in. I've got the uh, the grafter and the spade, the fence post for backfilling. Lasers on. Right, that's going to have a busy morning, because everything's got to be cut round here now. Um, so, just gone 8 o'clock, Dave's getting a mix in. I've got the uh, the grafter and the spade, the pencil post for backfilling. You see it now, because it's still a bit dull. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I'll see it now, yeah? Yeah. Well, it's uh, right before the sun comes out, you can see it quite easy now. There you go. Another profile. A bit of tape, I'm sorted. And then we'll mark it on here somewhere. We'll find out how I'll level the house and extension is. I'm with you while you're here anyway now. Yeah. I said, I said this and I can't. You said, I'll know the score, Dave, won't you? With the brick each day, wouldn't you? Not because you gave me orders and when he went, so I'd want to get it back and See this here? Put tape on. You can't lose your pencil mark then. Yeah, when you put loads of pencil marks on, you get all mixed up in them all. Oh, well, you have a thousand fucking that, And then when you do, once you finish, just take the tape off. Mm. So yeah. that's our that's our DPC level now. Yeah. So that that goes up to there. That we got to look at today. Yeah. Okay. So once we get to there, we're done. Okay. 
very lovely. So that, that looks about four and a half courses, that. It's probably going to be a split. Can you just spin the lady? No, 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 isn't it? Can you just spin it just a touch? Towards the house a touch. That'll do. There you go. Tape's on. Bottom of the tape is our level. Just see it there. The reason I put the bottom of the tape is because Our Fitz brick goes up, that's lines tight. We take the Fitz brick to there, like that. Just saves that jamming the uh, the lot. And then come around to this side. Couldn't find it on the wall, but if you go to the post, there you go. So we're probably 15 mil above damp on this, so this um, extension is low. So. That probably works in our favour actually because we've got to put the slab level with that slab. So um, I think that might work in our favour. That looks about 50 mil high. So, gonna, so that's that end taken care of. We know that's right on the house. So give it a spin. There you go, here's our level. Right, who's the tape measure? There it is, a beast, that's a handful, so let's get down here. These line levels are better than the rotary levels because you ro rotary you got the staff and you got beep, 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 and then you've got to hold it and measure it and mark it. Well, I've got apart from the camera, I've got both hands free. There's my mark. There's his lock. There you go. We've got three, three, five, seven. So three, seven, five gauge. So we've got twenty mil to lose. Which we will not do in five courses, unfortunately. Which is a shame. So we might have to just cut the bottom bottom course of brick. So yeah, that that's a that's five course of face brick. And as you can see, we're pretty much level with the uh, the ground now. So it's got to be face brick from the off. I think when we get halfway down there, we could probably knock the frogs off a few commons down there. We'll have to see. But like I say, we've got five to damp, so. You could probably raise the ground up a little bit and lose it. If they level it through from there, which they probably will, it's going to be a, probably going to be a patio here in front of the bifolds. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to use, cut the frogs off the commons on the bottom course, lose the 20 mil there, save on the reds as well. And then you've still got four showing. Um, and obviously, like I say, you've got bifolds. You need to, you're going to have to raise the ground anyway. Either put a step in or level it or a patio. But it's going to be a four metre door, so it's going to be a big area that needs be up as high as possible so I'll take the executive decision and use commons from here that's what we're going to use the uh, the scrap metal for It's it's got very small seating on it but it's just to bridge that gap so yeah I'm ready to go I'm going to start backfilling now
Right, backfield loaded, motor on the board. I've backfilled this bit here so I can work on here. And that's what we've got 50 mil. So we're going to try splitting the uh, commons with the almond bolster, and if not, we're going to fuse the saw. And then it's going to be the same on the inside two coarse of common and block. Just, yeah, four coarse and a half, really. Let's see we get on.
just gone three o'clock. There you have it. What do you call a load of pigs? Is it a herd of pigs? I don't know. Lots of pig in this. It's a pig in pain in the arse. You can see it across the door there. There's our four meter opening. So luckily there wasn't a lot of blocks to do either side of it, but again, super tight. I think we managed that without cutting. Just need to cut on this side because then block them trench went right up. But um that block that has been lasered off the floor and I've checked it with a six foot level. So that is level with that floor and that floor staying in so boom. So all I've got left to do now is run this in. I better get it jointed actually. Yeah, just running up to here. Up to here. Racking it back, and then backing it up, and then it's ready. It's re this up to here is ready for slab. Then what happens while we're away is this comes down, the drainage gets done, new footing, and then we come back and extend the foundations, extend the footprint. So um, they're gonna have a bit more room because it's coming a bit. And then um, again, go away again while they get it prepped and get it slabbed. Once the slab's done, we're back again, and then we build a superstructure, which is. Um, Again, it's going to be a pain. I hate doing block first, and I hate the 90 mil Salatex Kingspan. I hate doing it, but it's not our job. Um, also, at either side of the door, there's like a panel that's got to be set back, so it, the red comes up to about a block width away, and then it's like tiles, so it's like a feature around the door. So that's another thing we have to fiddle with. Either put thinner brick in or put thinner insulation. So um yeah. I'm gonna get me um get me shit together and get rid of everything I don't need. Get the jointing done and then I can get set up on here and get this done. So I'll put the camera on charge while I'm doing that and then I'll see you back over here. I am knackered and sore. This is the worst nightmare for me this in a bit. Right, that was a close one. It's getting over four o'clock now. Labour is gone. It's, obviously it's Friday so he finishes a bit early so he's left me enough gear to finish. And I was having a bit of a nightmare with this corner before. As you can see it's bang onto the line now but I couldn't get it to the line before so I did it with my level so I better check that. So I set the level up again. I put a screw in this time so it's, um, it's not sat on anything. So that's bang on level with the extension. I'm going to go back here you can't see it because it's so bright, but it's um, it's bang on the house there on the DPC, which that's my dating point. That's where I got off at the beginning. And um, if you look at that line there, where the line is, you can see the laser. But um, I marked it a course low before, so I, I, I nearly put a course of pig in this. So if it doesn't look right. Don't just carry on, query it and just double check yourself. And I th the only thing I think of is when I had the laser set up, you've got the set and then you've got another set and it's locked. And when it's locked, it doesn't, it doesn't, you've got off, locked and unlocked. And obviously if it's unlocked, let me show you, you knock it, the laser moves, but if it's locked, it doesn't move, obviously. But when it's locked, it, it sends it out a level. So I must have locked it and the thing's gone like that. It just dipped. It, but it landed on the course so it looked right. So um, I've just double checked myself. Obviously, that's cost me another extra 20, 15, 20.
we have it. What a long day. Very long day. Just gone six o'clock. God, I'm knackered. It's been tough, tough work. Oh yeah, all the face works up with the stupid pig in it. And all the block works up. Doors set out four metres in the centre. And um, yeah, tyres are in there. Course of block two, course of commons. Which always takes longer. You always try and make it work block, but obviously it didn't. Didn't work anything. Yeah, so I've uh, just got the mix to do, as you can probably hear it. And I'm away. So I'll get that done as quick as I can and skedaddle. There'll be no outro on this. Next time you see us, Alex will be back and we'll be doing this section here. So, um, catch you in a bit. Good morning. This On this Monday the 22nd of April. <clears throat> Been a while. I think last time the film was here. Um, Alex has been off for two weeks with Nia, so he's back. Nia went home Thursday, so here we are. That's my little uh, two days worth that nearly finished me off. <clears throat> and this is where the extension was that we built up to. So this has been dropped because it was um, crap. As you can see, it wasn't built up much. So we've got this little labyrinth of pipes and stuff. Pipe, lead pipe, another pipe another pipe to go out to a gully so we've got to um, we've got to come out we've got to put a full trench block in here 300 so you've got the full 300 wall and then return back in here 300 again so that's that and then we're going to go down here and then it's going to kick kick back in in line with the back of the house it's going to do that back to that that's going to have a stud across it and then it's going to have a lintel above to, so the brickwork carries on above and this is just going to be I don't think there's any windows in it so all our lines are set up so we can get everything in line the gauge is okay, we just need to knock this off with the breaker there's our levels marked out with the laser so that, everything's working okay at the moment so that's going over there but right where that does that is where the old pipes are Here's my glamorous assistant back off his holidays. Well, she was here on her holidays, I was just uh, off. Yeah. So he's, he's been pining all weekend. So, um, we need a battery as well, don't we? Good to have him back. Even though I, I was going to chuck him in here, but it's just it's probably a bit much for Alex to do on his own. It's going to be a difficult one, but I'd say we like a challenge, but uh, like some challenges more than others. Right, we're back after dinner. Alice has got the face work corner up. You can see, there's our hole for the lead, lead water pipe going through. It's all taped up, as you can see it as well. There's nowhere for me to stand. This is absolute agony from this. So, just 
just cut cut them rough around the um, just cut them rough around the uh, pipe, and then this has just been thrown in, and then I'll start fettling it out. I can start setting it out. That's our return there. That's what we're following, and everything works around that. A couple of lintels to go in here, and maybe a couple to go in there because that pipe's got to come through for a uh, gully. So swim it through there, and then getting across here. We've got one there. We just need another two bringing. So um, they're coming after uh, after lunch, and then this is running down. And it's going to be a very thin cut at the top, but it'll get bigger down this end. So that's um, that's to bring it level. How was your first day back? Um, yeah, it's good. 
a bit tough. It was bloody hard for me. Um, and the muggins have ended up down there. It was just the idea was to bring Alex and drop him off and do this on his own, but um, uh, I wasn't aware of that, by the way. No, but uh, as you can see from before, you've got the, the lead pipe to get over, which has got a big hole there with lintels down there. They're one lintel because it goes into the middle of the wall. Then we've got this dog leg, which needed translating from Danny's head into mine, which we got in the end. So this return lines up with that. So then there's going to be a stud wall in there, and then above there's going to be a lintel across for the wall. Um, lintels, lintels everywhere. And uh, Danny put the, the drain in while we were there, so he wasn't struggling after, which set us back a bit, but then he'd give us a hand after. And you can just see down there, the clay pipe that goes through the wall, comes out there, the head's off up there, and then here's the bit that I did and we've just tied into that and added to it so that is the uh, that is now ready for slob prep so Alex is coming tomorrow I'm having a day off because of, I'm knackered I'm going to stay for an hour or two to get this up because we're bringing the uh, the NX breaker yeah. so sorry there's not been much filming today but it's been a lot of head scratching um, it's been very difficult my part was alright <laughs> yeah, even that had to build like a, a little pillar on its own just to take the lintel to make it all work. It's, uh, it's chaos. But um, I was going to say we like a challenge, but not not this kind of challenge. So um, everybody see. says like, oh, I like being challenged in my job. I haven't done this. They haven't, they haven't done it to this extent. Oh yeah, it's forty mil at our level as well. And out of gauge. Yeah, so there's a lot of playing around with cuts and. Yeah, we've ended up with a little tiny cut on the inside because it's higher, and we've ended up big beds on the outside to make it work, which it does. So um, that's it. That's brick work done. It's all block work from now. So um, we'll get this these tools cleaned up and head home. Looking at a little job on the way home. See you in the morning. <laughs>